four was a 10 4 4. That was good enough for P1, but he had a curb strike. So you don't get that lap. The second lap was a very good job. So even though he hit the fence, that did knock him around. Now, Craig oh, Lowndes, oh, that's a big here. one for Moffat. That's turn 11. Red flag. Now, maybe he's Nothing actually had contact with another yeah, car. Just on TV. That's big. That's a big crash. Clock's frozen at 6 minutes yeah, and 43 right, seconds. Probably too loud, to be honest. And that's James Moffat apologising. I saw his dad, Alan, down in the pit area earlier. And uh, this is the spare car. And that's the back of Richard Holway. Just looking on the monitor and seeing the images that we're seeing. James Golding in conversation there as well. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm the tyres, so... Hopefully it's not too bad. If you could just let me know when... It's clear for me to get out. Hmm. That is an awful moment. You, um, Todd Kelly. It's Richard Musket. Uh, Co-driver. Here we go. Oh, this is, oh, you oh, know what? He's got the inside wall. So turn 11, uh, you can see the scars on the left side of the car already. Uh, but he's grabbed the inside wall and then unable to steer it and has just punched up straight into the wall. This is Dave. Now, as I said, you can't see the edge of the road. So when he fired out there to the outside, he's made heavy contact with the Coates High fence on the left-hand side. This is on board now. Have a listen. So, you know, as, as I said, when this, the sun shines through the grates of the debris fencing, it just exposes the edge of the wall, and you, and you, can't, you can't pick it up. It almost makes it like mirror. This is real time. Check this out. The right front rail is going to be pretty sore and bruised. And uh, unfortunately for that crew, they've already worked enormous hours 